Hello and welcome to Kehkashar's class. Today we are going to learn spin and speak. There are many waste materials lying around in our house. We can use them to create stories like this. Colorful and interesting. We can create to beautify our house. We can make things which are useful to us. And we can also clean our clutter on the desk by using this desk organizer. I have also used waste materials to make this spinning wheel. We have done many grammar lessons and I have incorporated them into this game. You can play this with your friends and with your family and learn with it. Here are some of the options like tell the opposite, what do I mean, all about me, make a sentence, three step story, spell the word and the grammar lessons which we had done. When you were doing the lessons, you had got many words, verbs, adjectives and nouns. Write down these words and put it in these categories. More the words, more fun. Spin the wheel. The marker points out the section, for example, adjectives and three step story. So you have to pick up three words out of adjectives. You have to create a story out of these three words. You can use three sentences or more than three sentences but the words should be there. Again turn the wheel, both the wheels now it is pointing to verbs and all about me. Pick up the verbs and repeat the same procedure. Play the game and have fun. So as many options you get, that many sentences you make and talk and you are able to learn. If you want to play this game with me, just write your comments in the box. In the next lesson, I will play this game with you in detail. These are some of the craft materials which I have used. You can add some more. For the stand and for the main spinning wheel, I have used cardboard of notebook covers. A pressure cooker gasket, an old one, was lying around which you can ask your mummy also. Take one sheet of the notebook flap, put the pressure cooker gasket on it and trace out the shape because this is going to be your frame. With the help of an elder, cut out the circular disc. Be careful when using scissors. Take the help of an elder. You will get a circular disc like this. Take two sheets of white paper. Why two sheets? I am going to tell you. Put the disc on them and once again trace out the shape.
Please be careful when cutting these sheets out. Take one sheet of the circular paper and fold it this way. Cut the shapes. You will get eight shapes like pieces of pizza, isn't it? Take one of the shapes and trace them out on colorful sheets. I had few lying around in my house. Beautiful colors, aren't they? Take the shape and trace it out on all the colors. Cut them and you will get these pieces. Eight pieces. You lay them on the board and you stick them with the glue. If you don't have colored sheet, doesn't matter. You can take the other circular sheet and color them like this with the crayons. You should have eight sections. Stick them with the glue on the circular disc. To make the small spinning wheel, I've taken an old CD and covered with yellow paper on one side. There has to be a hole in the middle for the straw to go in. We have to make a hole in the bigger disc. With the help of an elder, take a compass and make a hole in the middle of the big spinning wheel. The hole should be big enough to let the straw go in. I had some brown sheets lying around. So how we cover a notebook? We are going to cover the notebook flap with this brown sheet. Stick them on with glue. This is how it will look. This is the stand. You should make a hole on one side of the stand for the spinning wheel to be attached. Cut out these two flaps for the support of the stand. This way. Now I have written all my game options on the wheels. You can add your own too. You can make it a fun task. But remember, you should always learn something new out of games. So here are all the grammar options. Now take a piece of straw like this which will go through these holes and will help them in spinning. I have taken a toy car wheel. Then put the wheels through the straw as the wheels will be able to rotate through these two things. The wheel will go through this and the other end will come out from the other side. Take the rubber gasket and put it on the big spinning wheel like a frame. Stick it on. Your spinning wheel is ready. Take some paper cups, cut them into half and paint them. Write your subjects on the paper cups. 
attach it to the stand when you have attached everything even the spinning wheel the spinning wheel goes through the hole in the stand and it is secured with the other part of the wheel cut out an arrow shape for the pointer or the marker stick it with glue when you are rotating the wheel the marker can point it out last you have to put the flaps for the support now we are going to add some words to these subjects many cardboard sheets may be lying around like toothpaste boxes soap boxes cut them out into strips like these and write the words categorize them into these three categories now you can spin and play all these words which you have found while learning your lessons just put them and start playing in the next class we are going to play with it too so what are you waiting for create your own spinning wheel please do like share and subscribe to the class thank you and wait for the next class